back to the channel guys after a few trips to the parts store this is what i was able to get so i'm gonna go ahead and get to work so this is what i got this uh upper control arm i actually bought it at uh, central auto parts uh this upper link i bought it at AutoZone. um so it looks like the guys at uh, central auto parts also had the same problem i did with that back bolt so uh, when i ordered it they they couldn't give it to me, so I ended up buying this one at the dealership. It was actually cheaper than at uh, Central Auto Parts, so uh, it's always good to uh, look at the dealership first, I guess. Uh, this trailering arm, I also bought it at AutoZone. You can see where it got bent there. Um, the spindle, I also got it at Central Auto Parts. You can see where that old one snapped off right there. And then... Uh, CB Axle, I also got it at AutoZone. The, the seal for the, the rear differential, I also uh, got it at, at the dealership so that way I could get a OEM part. So, I'll go ahead and get to work. The back bolt that I ended up uh, having to cut off, um, I bought it at the dealership but it's like a week out so I'm just going to go ahead and use this one for now and then later on when I get it I'll go ahead and install it. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, by removing the seal on the differential. Uh, there's a special tool right here that you can uh, hook it out. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that uh, before I start assembling anything else. Let's see. What I think happened here uh, was when the, when the forklift lifted up the car it kind of extended that uh that axle and um when it went when he lowered it down it tried to go back in and it didn't go in where it needed to so i think that's how this uh seal got damaged um i'm hoping that the differential is going to be okay i think it will So I went ahead and uh, added a little bit of grease so when I go uh, put it in it just lights in. Um, I don't have anything like thick enough to uh, push it in evenly so I'm just going to use a block of wood and set it on like this and then uh, tap it with a hammer and, and put it in. So I'm just going to set it in by hand. Just like that. Then I'm going to get the hammer and I got the seal in. What, what I ended up doing was uh, using this old seal, just putting it there and tapping it with the hammer. As you can see, all you have to do is put it in until it bottoms out in this little lip right here, and then it's all the way in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this lower control arm. Uh, this is not the right bolt for here, but like I said, uh, the other bolt is gonna take a week to get here, so I'm just gonna use this one for now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and install this uh, upper control arm. Uh, honestly, the, the only damage that I see this uh, subframe got was just a little bit of a nick right here. Uh, nothing too bad. I don't think it's really concerning at all. Let's see. I just have to feed this bolt over there through the top down. I got the upper control arm in. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, line one of these bolts over here. And then uh, I'll move on to that other one over there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move on to this trailering arm. There's just one bolt here. On 
these bolts here, I'm not gonna tighten them all the way until I put some uh, some uh, tension on the suspension. They're just gonna be a little loose like that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the link. I actually uh, went back and looked at my video and uh, I was looking at the direction of this and it goes like this. And uh, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolt from this side so it'll be easier for the next guy. You should be able to still be able to get your uh, your alignment like that. Just need to put this nut. See, this is where the where the wear mark is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in this way. I'm gonna go ahead and install the shock. Um, it's just uh, four bolts. These four bolts here, and um, this goes on like that. It should be pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead and do the sway bar link. I just put an Allen key right there so it doesn't spin and use a 15 millimeter. Now that I got all the control arms, I got the seal in, I think I'm ready to put the axle. That should slide right in. Perfect. So now the final piece to the puzzle is going to be the the spindle. Hopefully it's not too hard to put in. I'm going to start off by putting this uh this lower control lower control arm bolt in. Let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, tension on the suspension so that way the bushes can uh, the bushings can be uh, tightened up at a uh, riding height so that way the bushings can last a lot longer think about right there now all I have to do is put so I got everything installed now I'm just going to clean up the work area and uh, put the spare tire on and Drive it off the trailer. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle lot, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. Through the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway And in the driveway, is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain You never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief uh, Better see it with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low, you can still go even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no 
hope you can still go I never ran, said a no, man, I still go Go, go looking really good uh, I'm just gonna have to make some space for the trailer so I could put it back Test drive here it seems to be doing pretty good. I don't got no lights. The only thing is just there's like a little weird noise coming from over there. It sounds like it's a speaker, but other than that, it, it runs great. It's going through the gears perfect. That it's, it's fast. It definitely does have an aftermarket exhaust. It's, it's pretty droney in here. happy I think I made a good purchase that's gonna be it for today guys um, I really like the way that this rebuild is going there's gonna be a lot more great content coming to you guys uh, so don't forget to like and subscribe